So over here, you can see that I have a video clip right here. And if I were to go under the adjustment tab, then you can go on under the SSL section right here which stands for hue saturation and you can see brightness right here but it means luminance right here so now over here you can see that this particular video footage has different color ranges like green as you can see right here so what you can do is you can go around on the green and change around the hue of the green right here and you can see you can only control out the green of this particular video right here and change it to how you like you can decrease out the saturation of the green and remove out the green color altogether or increase out the green color right here. Then you can increase out the brightness of the green color or decrease out the brightness of the green color right here. And this is the end result as you can see. You can go around over here onto let's say for example red right here and change this, uh, make changes to the red uh, skin tone right here. And then let's say for example hue for that as well as you like. You can work around with the brightness as well as you like this like this and that is what you have similarly for the other video footage as well like this one let's say or this one let's say for example you can do the same as well so you can see that i have the uh, adjustment right here and if i were to go around over here onto adjustment you can click on apply to all then whatever you did right here will be copied over here as well so if I were to go to adjustment, you can see that this is what you have. You can change around the hue of the greens right here, just like this. You can work around with the brightness of the particular green color and so forth. And if you were to go around onto red color, it affects out the red color. Go around onto blue and it affects out the blues as you can see right here, just like this. So that is how you can utilize the hue saturation and luminance effect or brightness effect inside of CapCut desktop editor. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.